Hello, I'm back off holiday because I went on holiday. Because you know, people need holiday. So, video today we've got skills that you must develop in your 20s. Now, I'm in my 20s. I'm 26. Yeah. Um, I want to see how many I've ticked off. So, I'll give myself a score out of, I don't know, how many it says. See how many I've got. Let us see what happens. Ta da! Well, no, no, magic. What do, you, what do you think of the skills that people should start to develop in their 20s in general to make them better human beings, more potentially uh, open to success financially, relationship, health-wise? What are two or three things that everyone should focus on in their 20s? Well, it's two or three. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's get this shit done. Let's go. Let's go. Well, it certainly doesn't hurt to be in physical, good physical condition. So we can walk through it. One. Stop drinking too much. Don't do that. How do you know if you're drinking too much? Um, do you think shit might drink too much? You regret what you do when you're drinking. <laughs> yeah, definitely. It's, it's interfering with other important goals. It's, okay. it's causing you financial distress. It's getting you in trouble with your friends or your family. It's getting you in trouble with the police. The Pope. Po. Okay. So stop abusing substances if you can, That's right? Good. If you see that they're... Um, yeah, or any behavior. Stop abusing self-destructive behavior because that ain't gonna help at all. Hurting you. Um, and alcohol is particularly pernicious in that regard. It's just so easy to get. So, go to the shop, boom, alcohol done. Physical health. Are you in decent shape? Are you strong and coordinated? I think And so. if you're not? So, that strict overhead press? Well... You'd be better if you were. Look at it, full range of motion. <laughs> you'd feel better, you'd be more effective, you'd live longer, you'd be less sick. No, I can't. And box. you really see that mount up. Like, if someone's been in shape once in their life, they age way better. And I'm it's also a really good way of maintaining your cognitive ability. Like, you know, you, you hear about those exercises that you can do online to make you smarter and keep your cognitive ability yeah. intact. Yep. Those don't work. There's no evidence that they work. People keep saying that they make you smarter, they maintain your cognitive function. Psychologists have studied that for 50 years, hoping that one of those things will work, trying all sorts of creative tacks, they don't work. Exercise works. Cardiovascular and weightlifting. I've got one half and it ain't the cardio. You start to decline in your fluid intelligence at about the age of 25. <laughs> For you, I have and it's no a linear trend downhill and it can accelerate as you get older. It's just like this, quite ugly. If you exercise, you stave that off. So that's really useful. Um, maintain your relationships and, and foster them. They're un so when I look at successful people, they're really good at something. They're reliable, that's right? You can count on their word. They're generous. And they Thank have you. a wide, wide connection network, which becomes more and more valuable as you get older. Yeah. So it's one advantage that older people really have over younger people. They have a connection network, and a connection network is huge. Well, it's useful. You could be connected to a thousand well-connected people. Okay, that them. means you are connected to the entire world. Yeah, it's right. It's yeah. unbelievably valuable, mm -hmm. and that's one of the things that's so absolutely remarkable about the situation that i'm in right now as far as one of the great oh, benefits i can imagine he knows I can, yeah. I can contact pretty much anybody and they'll talk to me it's yeah. like really <laughs> that's so cool i'm 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 interested in infrastructure for reasons i won't get into but i'm interested in infrastructure development i think it's a good method of wealth transfer it's a good solution to the problem of inequality and and employment that's pretty fair. um i reached out to a leading expert, a leading expert on infrastructure last week. See if he'd talk to me. I thought, I don't know anything about infrastructure except that it's worn to a frazzle and we should do something about it. You know, he agreed to talk. And it, you, it, it, having a connection network is a fun. Sometimes all of this just piles on. Sorry, I'd say a part and I take it. Inestimable, inestimable value. It's huge. Um, Estimable. Reliability, Estimable. generosity, you can work on both of those. Philosophical sophistication. 
it's very useful um, because it orients you properly. There's something I'm trying to do now that I, I've said before with my um, degree I'm currently doing in computer science and cybersecurity. If I didn't do that, I'd be doing a master's in psychology because I just love knowing how the work, the brain works, how people think about things, and all the different views I don't know about. That for me is something important because I don't know everything. I don't know anywhere near everything, and I don't pretend to because I know that I don't. And anyone on you know, ever watches any of these could know way more than me, or less, or the same amount. But we should talk. We should discuss things. Why you have your point of view with whatever evidence you have, why I have mine, and whatever evidence I have, and then we talk. And a discussion, not a, I'm right and you're wrong. This is a, I believe I'm right, and this is why. You believe you're right, and that's why. Damn, we both have good points. Let's discuss this. Instead of so many people now who just get into arguments, they're just like, nah, I'm right, you're wrong. That's it. Done. Go away. No discussions had. No, no even attempt at communication. And we need to communicate better. Just as people, we need to learn to communicate again. Because otherwise we just screw it up. Everything. Then. You have a sophisticated sense of, of the world. You find, for example, that um, doing things for other people is actually more rewarding than virtually anything else you can do. You know, when you hear you should be of service to other people. Well, if you actually watch yourself you pay attention to yourself and you do something that helps someone else and it genuinely helps them. I defy you to find another experience that is that satisfying. It's actually quite stunning. I agree, wholeheartedly. One thing I hate is when someone goes, I have this 10 pounds, I will give it to this homeless person with my camera on so the world can know I did this. Or you just give it to them and go fuck off and get on with your day. They don't need to be on a camera. They're in a low place anyway. And they're not jumping for joy of like, woo, yeah, I'm in my low place. And you're helping them by giving them the money. Poifek. Don't be a dick about it. Don't be like, I'm going to do this for the satisfaction and gratitude of everyone on the internet. Because whenever I see any of them, I'm like, why? Just why? Things like Mr. Beast. Now he's good. He he gives a whole shit ton to people. He's trying to raise awareness, everything else. He makes a difference to those people's lives immeasurably. You giving someone ten pound will not do that and will get you a few likes on whatever platform you're on. He gives these things to people and spends a lot of money to give to the um, charity banks and food banks and things like that. And the schools and the community, he's trying to build it all up. Sadly, I know it's he's probably started a lot lower, but sadly your £10 won't do that. Neither will mine. But if I give money to someone, I don't rave to the world about it. Stunning how satisfying that is. Just good think. And so that's a very useful thing to realise. Why is um, helping another person the most satisfying thing for probably most people when they're if they're you know out of their ego of like i want to buy more things to make me happy in this moment why is that such a satisfying thing for human beings uh there's no Happy better and, strategy for there's no better chemicals. life strategy i mean imagine i could give you a, a quick sort of technical example so imagine i take two people and i say okay um i'm gonna give you a hundred dollars and you have to give some of it to the person right beside you. And they can either agree or disagree with the split, but if they disagree, you don't get anything. Okay, so a disagree? classical economist would say that the person should take the hundred, offer the person next to them a dollar, and the person should accept it because why not? They get a dollar instead of nothing. Mm. And that's the solution. No. But what happens is that if you don't offer that other person something close to 50-50, they're it's likely to tell you. you to go to hell. Yeah, yes, yeah. very. And then, and and then you, you think, get well, nothing. You get nothing too. You think, well, why would people do that? Because they just reject $50 and 
who cares? And the, the answer is, well, we don't just play one game with other people. We play a repeating game. Mm -hmm. And so, so imagine we did this. So imagine it's a crowd and they're all watching you. And I offer you $100 and you have to share it with the person next to you. And you say, would you like to take $70? And the person says, well, I'm not sure that's fair to you, but if it's okay, yes. But then everyone else sees that. And now they all have an opportunity to pick who they're going to play with next. Well, you're not going to get picked, picked last, are you? Remember what you told me? You didn't want to get picked last, right? I did not. Okay, so what you did was you turned yourself into an athlete. To a machine. A machine. Okay. Always get first. Okay, great. So, but imagine we expand that game. Yes. And we say, you want to be the person that everyone wants to play with. Yep. No, no, no. Well, then all you have game. in your whole life is invitations to play. Well, how, how, and how are you going to be that person? Be productive, straightforward, generous. Make everyone else better around you and they're going to want to play with you. A absolutely. Mm -hmm. So there you as go. And then you get to play. Advantage. Yeah, exactly. Well, how is that not the best possible deal? It's yeah. clearly, see, so, so the reason. So yeah, as long as you say, oh, I'll give the $70 to you. Sweet, great, but don't let people take advantage of your good nature. There's a difference between good natured and helpful and just being mugged off because then that won't help you because then you will end up with nothing. They were just like, We got everything, let's leg it. Some people will, not everyone, everyone is different. It's a situational thing. If, if the ethical argument is put properly. It is by far the most compelling argument. It's like, if you want to have everything you could possibly want and more, then be a good person. Mm -hmm. The better a person you are, the more likely that is to happen. That doesn't mean you, that you're completely protected against getting cut off at the knees, mm. but there's no better strategy. Mm, you're more likely to find And you can even think people. about it selfishly. And I talk about this to some degree in Beyond Order. Let's say you, let's say that I, you want to be selfish. You think that's the best possible strategy. Why should I care about others? Okay. Let's say you should only act in your own best interest. People will repeat that. To well, you. then it's like, well, what's your best interest? Well, yeah, actually, what best does interest, interest be mean? And what does you mean? Mm. What's in your best interest? To in my best interest to make as many contacts and everything as possible. The best solution for that is to be a good person. Your best interest. Three mysteries. What's your, what's best, what's interest? Okay. Well, there's you. But you aren't just you right now. You're in the future. You're you, and you tomorrow, and you next week, and you next month, and you in five years, and you in ten years, and you when you're a pensioner. You're a community of selves stretched across time and so if you were enlightened and selfish you would act in a manner that would benefit that entire community across time and i don't think that's any different than acting on the best possible part for other people i, I think they're the same problem so i think as soon as human beings discovered the future we we know we were no longer singular individuals. We we're instantly each a community. And then the community ethic prevails. And the community ethic is, I want to win in a way that makes you win. Yeah, if we all win together, we all move forward. It's, it's a great way to go and ideal. Because if I help you, you're good at things. You can help me that I'm not good at, but I helped you, and now everyone is helping everybody. You'll move up and up and up and up. Whereas what we get sometimes is, well, I help you, not individually. I help person A, but person A doesn't want to help everyone else, but they've taken my help, got better, and gone, yeah, screw these guys. You don't need them anymore. But if you bring other people up, then they can help you. You help them. It's like a ladder going up the ladder. And that's so good. Why would you not would you want that? Jocko was telling me when we talked this week. He's this tough character, man. Uh -huh. You know, and he could have. And I'm not telling tales out of school here. 
he could have been a criminal, no problem. <laughs> and he knows that perfectly yeah. well. And I'm not saying, yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying that as a slur on his character, partly because I believe the Nietzschean dictum that a lot of morality is just cowardice. Whatever he might be, he's not a coward. And so, and just because you obey the laws doesn't mean you're moral. Hmm. Just might mean you're afraid. In any case, so the question is, well, what? The law of the land might not be what's moral. It might just be what benefits the people in charge, benefits people at the bottom. Just the most convenient thing. Morals are subjective to degrees. There are certain things that morally is. Some people look at sketchy, and it's okay. Everybody agrees certain things are morally bad. Eh, unless you're, you know, serial killer or something, then you might find that, think that you're fine. You're not. But, you know, that's what laws and prison and punishment and stuff is for. To punish those who break the law, which would normally, or used to be, based off morals. Sometimes not so much anymore. What socialized this brute? Well, he was taught in the Navy SEALs. Yeah. Take care of your team. That's your fundamental purpose. Mm -hmm. And he noted, and we had a long discussion about this. The successful guys, man, they've, you know, they've got your back. Wow. Right. They, you know Trust that them, above yeah. all. Yeah. And if, and if, if, if you aspire to a leadership position among those brutes, let's say, and you aren't someone they know to have your back, Going back. they're not following. You're not going to make it. Yeah. Uh -uh. You're not going to make it. So a few things like that, where they say that the, um, in for the SS election and whatever, I've seen it on SS who does wins. It's not the most physically strongest. Or the most mentally strongest it's the ones that you know can push through their limits and that will help their own team help they've got your back you you want to know that the guy next to you has got your back entirely if you go down he can help get you out and they or they um, but also if you they go down they know you have your back their back it's about trust you have to be competent in all your marksmanship and everything, all the other skills. You can't be below average on those. But if you're selfish, the lone wolf, you ain't being picked for those positions. There are other positions you can be picked for, but it ain't those. And so that's this is why the discussions of power that are so prevalent in, in modern culture bother me yeah. so much. It's like... You think male hierarchies are predicated on power? You really think that? They are when they've gone rotten. But when they're not rotten, that's not what they're predicated on at all. The capacity to exercise power, that's really important. You need that. It has to be part of you for you to be admirable. It's like you could be a badass son of a bitch. Yes, I see that. And, and that way I'm somewhat intimidated by you. And that's actually a testament to your moral virtue that you have enough force and power to be intimidating but then if you can encapsulate that and take that potential for power and, and it harness forward. it yeah. to this broader good well that's unstoppable yeah. if you can be a monster and control it why wouldn't you that's yeah you need something that Jordan Peterson does say a lot is that you shouldn't be docile and um, walked all over, that kind of thing. No, that's not what that's the right word or saying. But it, he does say that you should learn to be a monster and then control it. So if you can control it in the situations that it is required, which you would know because you've controlled it and everything else, you can push through that situation. You can be prepared. You will not be destroyed by it. You kick its ass and keep walking, and everyone around you is okay. And you're like, do do do, let's go. Yeah, it's. I'll get there eventually. I think this might be the first video of the new space guy. So meet space guy, and uh, at some point, there's the tree. I got a new skull. New skull on the tree. 
there's links down below um, we're planning on doing more things in the Den Wings chat and Twitch channel uh, my Twitch channel at Den Wings but people in Den Wings we're going to be doing tabletop games we're going to be doing um, I'm looking at doing a couple of other games big build on Valheim things like that I haven't played it yet but I, I love those games um, we're going to have more of a structure because I want one and it helps in my head and after all, isn't doing any of this just to help with your mental health and other things, which you should always look at. Um, there's links down below, there'll be links in the description. Come join the chat, comment if you like, even if it's just peddly you an idiot. I know I am, it's great. Um, and until next time, after my little break, which I've just had, now I will be back to normal. I say normal as if I have normal. I'll be making a new normal. I'll stop rambling now. Catch you later.